been blessed, you know, some of my hard work is paying off in the shows. I'm the best player in this state for sure. Oh, man, they ain't alive, you feel me? I'm gonna get busy. Oh, not getting back. I'll do it after the game. Watch all the film, or you just want me to airdrop you with this stuff for uh. Look at this is what this is what I'm about to tell you right now. Actually, no, I'm not about to say nothing. Just watch this. It was very weird for me to watch, watch this because I'm not really worried about them. With us, like this is what you gotta focus on. When you come off this on ball right here, you, we have to stop that. Like like against Saint, Saint Mary's and against everybody, you, you do it, but like like make them make a decision. Like you keep dragging it. Like I'm pretty sure that they, they weren't talking and then you just fade away to you know and If you want to get to that next level, it's on, it's on you So tonight like we all about to see you know what you about and just keeping it real You know like we all got got us to, to, to this point and that was a, like we, we did it different You know so I want to I, I want to I wanna see tonight man I'm, I'm, I'm in them stands just watching you know? yeah. I already know man, about to get it done All right, so the first uh, question I got for you is, yeah. talk to me about how you first started training Nate and the progress he's made since then. Yeah, you know, like I, I used to be up there playing with him over at uh, Compass a lot, uh, just running around with him and just being in there with Nate and just seeing like, just talking to him is just how stoic he was. You know, like that's, that's something like being up in this pro 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 profession, I guess you would call it, um, just, seeing like how stoic he was throughout like this whole journey you know he never like changed and it was that's that's cool to see especially when working with kids man these are children you know these are people's kids and that's a big thing for me you know i i, I was a player um played uh over in houston texas um born and raised there went over to flagstaff at nau played there had a you know nice career there um, went over to Spain, had a solid career there. Just a, a whole lot of, and just thinking about like the journeys and like those little steps, you know, that, it, that those things took and, you know, and just like playing that in my, in my head right now as we speak about Nate's journey, you know, and it, it's just a cool thing, man, just to see it, you know. Um, and, and Nate was one of those kids that like when I saw it in him, I, I saw he saw it in himself too, you know. You push these kids so much and, you know, you don't, you gotta find that balance. And with Nate, like whenever I pushed him, it was never too much, you know? Nate knows exactly what, what he needs, he knows his game, you know? I've, I worked with, you know, few kids that know that, you know? Um, Nate, Nate pays attention and he showed me that throughout th this journey that he pays close attention. So all the things that I wanted, like I, when I, when I watch, when I go to a game, I just, I just see it up on the court, just di displayed as, as greatly as I can e even like just think about it in my, 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 my head, you know. It, it was funny because, uh, you know, I, I sent him uh, what we worked on that, that day, you know, that he struggled with against St. Mary's. And, uh, and to see him like even when cameras was around during that day, to see him focus in there and then go and do it. You know, like again, it's it, it's a cool thing to, to see a child do that. You know, as much as he probably thinks him, as as himself as a grown man, it's cool to see that. Just meeting, you know, Cam, and uh, beginning to work with his son, and just the the person that Cam is, just the vibrant person he is, just the way that he's able to, you know, bring so many people in. You know, it's it's a gift and. and uh, the lead bro. Look at my sons, the lead bros. 
J. Lee, P. Lee. But this is my wrestling right here. Hey man, what's going on, man? It's a game fight today, man. The dub? Is it the dub? This right here. Dub. W. Yeah. yeah, Nate, to be honest, all that stuff, all that training and stuff, right here, man. All of that. T tonight is about this W. Yes, sir. W, man. Like, that's, you gotta get W, man, or something. Oh, it's pretty camera. Go look. He wins this. Ain't no shoes involved. He's getting a bust down. In C. In C1. What? When he wins. When he wins. Bust down. In C1. Nigga, I don't want to take on the cut. We all got it. We all got it. Go back. Yo. <laughs> No, that picture is crazy. Let me take a picture. No, hell no. I just a kid. This nigga, bro, you got a whole some kids that have mouth open like this. No. Oh, hey, the dude hey, disrespected him so bad. He gave, he threw the whole thing at him, though. Where's the video? Who got that on? Okay? The dude was sex playing. I'm not hearing none of that. He gave him the, you know how you chop it up and they do the small guy? They gave him the, the big guy. The whole Tani? No, the guy who got the way. I wouldn't like him. I wouldn't like him. Oh, my mommy, he was like that. He needs uh, to talk. And move it, yeah. He needs to talk. Okay. Since, since, we, since, we talking, since we talking, since we talking, since we talking, since we talking, Mark is gay. Wait, go back. Since we talking, Mark got the juice. What we got? Hey, since. Is that a high school with the flower joint? No, nah, bro. How about the. I got some shit, other shit too. Purple contacts. Why, bro, you don't. Purple contacts. <laughs> Come on, AC. Serious? Come on, theory. Nah. I know that would be a scary I don't care on the food. Where's the sauce I see my homies, my sons. This is my son right here. Travel home every single day, something like that. That's how it is. Wait, you're not buying Chipotle? Yeah, because you're going to Chipotle. He said, he says, I got to every day, and then he's like, yeah. I'm a bunch of Oh, the king walks. I know. Hey, you want half my ranch? I'm going to take a cleanse and ask me whether it's ACT tomorrow. Oh, you do got your ACT tomorrow. Oh, my God. I'm not. You're going to party Imagine waking up at 7 a.m. State championship, ACT next day. No matter what happens, we're not going to go. So you guys just got to stay out of seat? Watermelon is not good. Watermelon is ass. I'm sorry, bro. 
Okay. The two of my kids do this shit with the ass, bro. Why did I get the purple one? This is dog. Pineapple number one. Dog. What'd you say? Pineapple. Oh, yeah. Pineapple for sure. And I get pineapple here. Pineapple. Pineapple. Oh, yeah. Not better than blueberry. Or watermelon. Nobody eats blueberries. Blueberries are good. Blueberries are good. Yes, please. But no, I like blueberries. Like strawberries, blueberries. You only throw blueberries in like a shake. Yeah, like raspberries. Raspberries. Yeah, raspberries. Blueberries. It goes pineapple, strawberries, yeah. then apples. Uh, apples. Apples are pretty good. Pineapple, apples. 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 I love that. Apple cobbler. Mm. Hey, you guys all got to do it for? Look at that. Nope. Oh, my God. 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 Hey, why did you let her go? He forgot his uniform every game this season. I'm so missing. Man. Hey, why did you let her go? Hey, you got your goggles, bro? Oh, Haley, he mad. He's out. He didn't feel it. He locked in. He might hit two threes again. No, you're not over no more. He feeling his stuff. I'm gonna get a deep thing. This nigga is a he's big Eve fan. He's a, he's a, I'll put a, everybody on in this gym. He ain't put nobody on. TikTok. I'll put everybody on. Oh, oh, man. Where did that come from? Uh, bro. Uh, I know that was a dick. Dick. Nah, nah, nah. 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 Nah, nah, be yourselves. Now there's going to be some food line stuff when we get there and whatnot in terms of the announcements. Enjoy it. Hey, enjoy it. You guys have earned it. Enjoy it. But keep the perspective. Let's know who we are and let's know what our job is tonight. Is that good? Yes, sir. All right. Get it! Hey, one on three, one, two, three, win! Let's go, baby. That's all we do, baby. Win, win, win. Hey, everybody got their shoes. Yes, sir. Do you have your left shoe? Yep. Do you have your right shoe? Yep. Do you have your jersey? Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My back. Hey, oh, that's crazy. No. No. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I saw myself. I walked in and he pulled up. My name is Raquel Ballin and I'm Nate's mom. When Nate started taking basketball more seriously, um, more serious than swimming, did you think he would be where he is now? Um, at the beginning, I didn't. He was a swimmer. It was really hard for me to transition because he'd been swimming for so long and he did so great at swimming. Um, he always did a second sport. It was either basketball or flag football. So, no, I didn't think he would be where he's at now. It seems natural for him. Whatever sport he does, he does very well. He excels in. I think swimming really helped build character. Um, Nate swam at 7 o'clock in the morning at ASU one year, and it was 31 degrees outside. It was absolutely cold. Um, so I think it built character for him. and got him honestly to where he's at today. It wasn't the mindset to have Nathan be a state champion in swim. I honestly got him into swim when he was 19 months old just because he was too young to do any sport. And then in his swim school started a club team and I mean he started when he was like I don't know five or six and he started with like the minnows and then he moved up and he just excelled in it. He's come a long way that's for sure like I said because when he was little I would never have thought that we would be where we're at now. That boy was in trouble all the time in school. I mean, I don't, back in his days when he went to school, there was like a, a yellow, a red, and a purple. Yellow was like, you got a warning, red. Purple was you did good. Nathan never got purples. Like, he was red all the time. I'm just very proud of the, you know, where, where it started and where he's at now. He's really matured a lot. And, He's kept a circle small, and that's kind of like on his own, he's done on his own. Just him really growing up and me, I mean, me seeing it. Honestly, I, I think this year is when it kind of, the light turned on for me. Hey, it's too cold, let me know.
I can't be your man. to reach us for the final four you know last year the way we went out you know me getting ejected us losing to a team we were not supposed to lose to I mean it hurt but you know us having the same people the next year our main goal is just to get to the final four and just make history I, mean, I feel like I'm definitely underrated but I feel like I'm definitely getting some love now but I feel like a lot of people underrate me because my size and uh, just like the way I play, I don't feel like people like it. Like I, I show my emotion, stuff like that. Who is the most impactful person in your life and why? Uh, probably Cam or Gabe. You know, just the mentoring me. They they really helped my mental health really to build my confidence. I could say, I guess. They're really the main two people. I, uh, before the inbound, I thought we lost for sure. Uh, when Elijah hit that three, I thought we lost because the time could have just ran out, but we got to delay a game. And when that happened, I thought we had a chance. But before then, at that point, I thought it was over. I thought my career with the season was over. What was going through your mind? Oh, we lost. I had already texted my mom we lost. And when we talked about it later, she's like, you text me, you lost. I'm like we had lost the game was pretty much over and I normally 
don't stay when it's that close, I'll walk out of the gym and I'll pace outside. But there was so many people there that there was no way I was gonna make it out the gym before the buzzer went off just because there were so many people. I just, I, I knew in my mind that they had lost. It was the shot seen around the world, a 75 foot buzzer beater that sent the Mesquite Wildcats onto the state championship. Now video of this shot has gone viral online and even made it on ESPN. Team 12's Cameron Cox caught up with the team after the game and the shot that they will never forget. It was the number one play on SportsCenter's top 10 and maybe one of the greatest shots in Arizona high school hoops history. You hit the game winner. There's no homework the next day, right? Like teachers give you a pass on Yeah, that. basically, yeah. You know, I came to school. Everybody, we just chilling, you know, having fun, talking about it. Tuesday night, six-seeded Mesquite Wildcats playing in the 4A state semis on the road at the defending champ St. Mary's. Oh, I've never been in an experience uh, uh, like last night. Down two with 0.23 seconds left. No, I saw that pass in the air and I was, thought we had a chance, so it's not over till it's over for sure. Senior Nate Calmisi steals the inbounds and launches a 75-footer for the win. With my hand was perfectly on target and you know, in my mind I thought it was going in. First thing I'm looking at is the referee to signal that it's good and then uh, you know, I'm watching the crowd and our kids go crazy. It's a good feeling. You know, it's definitely a blessing because these are my guys, you know, since day one. So to do it with them, you know, it's, it's undescribable. Shut up. I love you, Nick. Bro, right now. Anajikas. Anajikas. You gotta show him. Screw Colin, dude. You gotta explain the story behind these. Right now? Yeah. Behind what? So, you know, he was playing Campo. Some decent school, you know, they're real decent. decent. Uncle said if I score 40, I get these. Went for 44, it's a little light game, you feel me? It's a little light game. Roll the clip. <laughs> Roll the clip. Roll the clip. You get 50, any pair of shoes you want. Princes, they're yours. You go for 40, 40, the princes are yours. Yeah, I have my. Hey man, what's up? Oh, my nice How you doing? Um, I made a clutch three. So I got a dressing room. I just want to thank everybody. All my family. All his fans, guys. Man, it's so inspirational, man. Look at this, though. I appreciate Nate, bro. He's done a lot of stuff for the season. Good season. Hey, yo. Hey. Plus five overalls. Plus five overalls. These right here. These right here. Plus five overalls. Let's put it right here. Specialty. I want to thank you for everything you've done. Made my shot better and clearer. <laughs> Made me go three for three in the clutchest game of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Every bad bitch was there. I just want to thank you. Riley? I just want to thank Riley you. Riley was there. Riley, Riley. 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 Yeah, he picked up Riley right after the game. Dude. He picked it up. I just want to thank everybody, bro. Three. Yeah, he almost fell over with me. It was a tough shot, Sean. I don't think you could have made that shot. But these right here, man. Give me that boost, that confidence. That's my baby. Everybody right? say amen. Everybody say amen. Amen. Amen, amen. 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 everybody. Amen. So, um, after this game, they'll uh, do the trophy presentations for both squats, okay? champ and then runner up, and they'll, they'll cut down the deck. So it's going to be a little while. Yeah. Okay? And then um, after that, they'll get 15 minutes to warm up. Okay? So that 15 minutes on the court. When you get out on the court, then orient yourself to the court. Okay? Little things. There's no volleyball line. Okay, out there, okay? where where the times are, the uh, the score the way I see it is only on one side and it's on the home side, which means second half, our backs are going to be to the score, okay? but there's a clock, one of those TVs on the corner by our bench, okay? so any other thing, man, when you get out there, orient yourself to the court because it's it's a little different than normal.
Matchups are up there, and that's what we'll start with. Okay. The biggest thing to this game, in my opinion, is transition. Okay. That, is, that is the biggest thing in this game. Okay. Our transition. Our transition. When we rebound, we know we can run. Okay. Now, they want to run too. Okay. They want to run too. So we need you guys getting your ass back. Okay. You're still hitting the boards, but it's going to be a first five-step game. Okay, the first five step game. You get back and locate and you're going to need to talk. Okay, in my opinion, the team that wins the transition game and the rebounding game that goes along with that okay, comes away with a win. Okay, this is a basketball game. We need to go beat these guys. We can just go win a basketball game. Talk about what we need to correct, pump each other up, believe in each other. Hey, PMB says it all, baby. Let's see what's up. Come on.
say to the people that say you're too cocky and you're too confident? Um, really, it's just the way I play, you know, I feel like it's not cocky. I feel like just really out there having fun, showing my emotions, just playing. Um, and too confident, you know, I don't feel I'm too confident. I just feel like I just trust in my work, you know, my work I put in over these years, you know. I feel like that's just trust, not really confidence. I mean, it was, hard. it was hard for Nate. Of course, he wanted to go to a prep school. That was the thing. Like, everybody's transferring to prep. Prep, prep, prep. You know, that's all you heard, and the pressure did. I mean, it came down on me. It came down on his dad. And, you know, his dad always said, with his talent, no matter where he goes, he will get noticed. So, um, we had the discussion. Um, it was just really hard in the beginning, just because we both work full time. So it wasn't like we can drive him. 30, 45 minutes in the morning and pick him up, you know, as a freshman. We just didn't have the ability to do that. We had the discussion probably about, you know, sophomore year. Of course, prep school, of course, transferring. Um, we just never felt that there was like a prep school where Nate would fit in and be one of the, a top player or a top choice because those prep schools already have their top their starter selected. We just kept him at Mesquite and look where he's at now. What do you think points are on fast breaks? Yeah. Is that not doing so bad? Hey, if you want to put it back, I'll look at the board. If you want this next half, and you hoop. I want to be up by 10 at the end of this quarter, bro. Come on. 20, let's go. 20, 20, let's go. Let's get back. Let's get back. Let the bigs get the boards. We haven't got no transition layers, bro. Now it's real, yep. and these dudes are real, right? And yeah. they can play, right? They can play. It's a great job of just staying tough, right? just staying tough. Hey, we're up one, yeah. right? and, and we haven't played well. And, and I think over half of their points have been transition points. But hold up now. We, we can say get back. We've been saying that all game. Hey, I've been saying fucking get back. Hey, every day in practice upon these guys, right? Yeah. 
And so now the shit has to get done. Exactly. Right? And Coach picked up on it too. Hey, you know, the shots go up and there's this little hesitation. Man, if you're going to go, go. Drew, get some damn offensive yes, boards then. Yes, don't, yes, don't, yes, don't, don't, don't halfway it. Yes, hey, keep going to work when you get it down low. Let's reinforce this again, man. Hey, this is a championship game. Uh, this is supposed to be tough. Uh, if things don't just roll our way, we got to make it roll our way. Okay? Get a little bit better at each minute, get a little bit better each quarter. Okay? We're going to go the same way that we started. You guys can relax in here. Let's get a break. Let's go. Oh, you're about three. One, two, three. Pick it up.
What a lot of people don't know, it's who I do it for, you know, it's my guy, passed away uh, two years ago, actually. Uh, but this is who we really do it for, me and my guys, we wanted to win it for him, so we did it for him. I don't see a lot of other players doing that, but he, he finds a way to find you and your family. Almost every time. I, I just think he likes to, you know, put on a show for us, and he knows that we're always there to support him. So, and honestly, you know, from the beginning, we've always had a lot, a lot of support, and this year it's just been mad, crazy support. You know, people I've worked with for years, and they've always wanted to watch him play, so they come out and watch him play. Like, you know, my family's come out this year. Obviously, it's a senior year, so more often. Um, his dad's friends have come now, you know, more this year. Um, so I think he knows that there's a lot of us there supporting him. In the warm-ups, I always try to find my family, see what area they're in, stuff like that. But, you know, it's not really planned, you know, it's really just emotion, just me showing my emotion, having fun. And uh, just put on a show for my family, you know, they come to watch me, so I like to uh, make it fun for them and put on a show. Uh, it means everything, you know, not everybody could always have their family there, but just to have my main family, my, my core family, and then like all my f uh, friends and grandma, all that stuff, is just, it's really a blessing to have them there, and they mean everything to me, you know, one day I just want to give back to them for everything they've done for me, so that's really the goal, is just to one day give back to them. And see when talk to me.
Hey, I want to say this. He is the best player on the ski. I'm the clutchest player on the ski. Clutchest player. Clutchest player down. Stretch my neck. I don't really know basketball too much in and out. Um, I don't know really know basketball too much in and out. Um, his dad's the one that does, and you know, his dad would tell me and I would just go, you know, okay, I mean, I don't know. And of course, Gabe believed in him from years ago, Cam. They're like, oh, they, they always seen something in him. And I'm just like, okay, you know. I, I set a bunch of goals this year, you know, they're right up there on the wall. Um, I think I've competed in mainly all of them besides Gator Player of the Year, you know, that I hope, hopefully that's coming soon. You know, that's probably the last one I got to check off is Gator Player of the Year. Yeah, I just, they just ruined my whole momentum. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Yes, yeah. yeah, sir, I'm him, you feel me? Give us our read, boy! Hurry up! Hey. That's disgusting. GPO watch coming real soon. Hey. Oh, my mom. Oh.